Hello, Alan. <laughs> it's you. Anyway, here we go. Um, since we've got the camera and the microphone, why not ask questions or comment as we go? Let's see what Prez has to say about Jennifer and their chance meeting. Wow, wow, wow. All I can say is wow. I found out about this Jennifer Aniston Ellen appearance last night, and it took me several hours to process everything that was said. Um, okay, pause. Okay. Time out, Alan's team. Don't worry, I have infinity. <coughs> Why? Okay. And now I've had time to think about it, so I wanted to talk about what was said and what happened when I met Jennifer Aniston about five months ago. <laughs> wow, that was specific. Okay, now wait. So one, two, two, two. January, January, February. It's very specific. So what, like August? September? Okay, whatever. I once again have no idea who that is. So I'll say who. And I was leaving that meeting and going to my car in a garage underground parking in Los Angeles. And she okay, perhaps a bit overly descriptive than I expected someone to go out of the way to convey, but even better. Okay, underground parking garage, Los Angeles. There we were. Surprisingly enough, sorry. Driving past me really slow because, you know, you can't go fast in the underground parking garage. And you are Perez Hilton, so you should be used to people staring at you wherever you go because that's the one reason we were trying to avoid. Or we were fame shy because, well, never mind. But so it could just be besides the parking garage, it could be because you're special too, Perez. But I'll let you continue. You didn't even recognize it was Jennifer Aniston at first glance? Okay, I'm just saying. And I'm looking at the woman, and this woman is looking at me, and I'm looking at the woman, and then the window lowers, and it's Jennifer Aniston in the passenger seat, and I just don't know what to do. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, Rimji? No, I'm like. <laughs> I won't even show you the OMG cat. <laughs> The funny thing about the interwebs, <laughs> it's like that whole peer-to-peer, -peer, like your profession is dealing with celebrity existence, and then you live in the same greater general area of existence. So the odds of running into each other at some point are still fun and surprising. Why? She asked me, why do you call me Maniston? And she said... What? Wait, what? 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 Huh? He calls her names? Okay, sorry. You'll have to forgive me because I have not been up on celebrity gossip in forever. <laughs> so... Uh, Well, okay, well, you don't even have to say, ex the, the point would be you, because when you say excuse, it is already labeling whatever it is as whatever it is, whereas if you just say people's like, what the hell are you thinking, and why are you thinking this way, and which specific thought references, and like, where is this coming from? 
that's it's like where, where is the thought reference association because i can tell you when it comes to my programming and my or whatever it's like it's just these very clear like you know like one bad apple ruins the freaking bunch type things and so it's like my life has been a string of oh my goodness gracious that's some crazy really 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 bad luck alan are you that naive <laughs> yes and uh, apparently apparently i'm <laughs> we've reached the proverbial top of the mountain there is no higher to go or achieve. And it's like, you know what? This actually kind of works out perfectly. So I'll let him continue. And I would make myself feel better by saying things like what I told her. Well, you know, you're just a character. It's just entertainment. Don't take it seriously. Um, and we spoke about, about a lot of things. I don't need to get into too much detail about exactly everything that we spoke about. But she also said that she could tell that I was a nice person and that I was very bright. What is it specifically that brought the conversation from the name calling to the subject um, matter of their conversation beyond her? Okay, well, it's just interesting because the thing, the reason I hiss it. Perez and other people, it's like, because I'm a person that talks about deep ideas and, con you know, it's like I'm I'm just operating on levels of stuff that most people aren't, I guess. And so when they want to talk about the things they want to in light of the fact that the world's in the condition it is, like, I'm just totally not even expecting that because my de facto programming as designed and conditioned as part of this project mission thing um, has a, an adjusted set of priorities, but I can completely see and understand how others work. Okay. Can't go too far. It's Hang on. Just wanting to get to know more about me and speak to me as a real person. We have another seven minutes. And I was doing the same with her in that moment. And, you know, I'm glad that she said something, and I'm glad that we had that conversation, and I'm glad that since my change towards being more positive and, uh, Okay, see, that's not what we don't, we don't want a positive and friendly Perez. What, what you need from everyone and stuff is a considerate, respectful Perez that is, well, it depends on the specific, um, you know, the nature of the thing, because that's what's crazy about the whole faux circus world of celebrity is the the real person takes that damage and beating in the eyes of the others and it's that same crazy group influence that on a much smaller scale pushed brought conditioned people into certain mindsets and behaviors in the first so, so you understand the the irony Come on, keep going. Sorry, it lost the freaking. Oh, come on, interwebs. Sorry, we have to reload the page. <sighs> so, anyway. The thing is, you can't really, ha you can't have opinions and feelings on things you don't know although the nature of the human animal or whatever when somebody asks you something you you know some people will pretend they know even when they don't others will simply say you know <laughs> what happens like people just be honest like you don't you don't know in your clear like, no Christ come on sorry we have to watch another commercial apparently that's how long I talk I talk so long that while paused in between <laughs> We've now had to watch another commercial in order for the player to work. Welcome to America. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, Hey, luckily, his is only three minutes and 22 seconds, so. I found out about this Jennifer Aniston Ellen appearance last night, and it took me several hours to process everything that was said. And now I've had time to think about it, so I wanted to talk about 
<laughs> His videos don't allow you to fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense so far. That also makes sense. That additionally makes sense. I think. Oh, man, it's an, okay. Why do we say men are one thing and women are another? Because that's not what it is. It's a... Oh, so we can use Perez as arbitrator. You're smart. Yes, you can. It really wants his attention, but the way in which he's gone about that in our society is the. Mm -hmm. Public figure. Hopefully, this story, this video, Jennifer's appearance on Ellen, which airs on Thursday, can inspire some of you. Because really, that is what I want to do these days. I want to entertain and I want to inspire. Bye. Bye. All right, that was Prez was being nice enough there. So that one would get to passing grade. Um, now we're going to stop this and upload it because, yes, I really am that stupid and too late now. Any questions?